welcome back to the channel. Today you join us where we're going to be mapping Adrian's Super Impreza GC8. Bit of a special car this one. It didn't start off life like this. Adrian built it himself uh, and we love home builds. So I'm going to invite Adrian to come on camera and tell us a little bit about uh, his car. Would you like to come over Adrian? Yeah, sure. Hello, my name is Adrian. I've, uh, I've built this thing. <laughs> I originally bought it as a sport, a uh, late night eBay sight unseen purchase. That was fun. And during COVID, uh, it sort of snowballed as a project into doing a full turbo swap. So here it is today with a EJ207 bottom end, WRX heads, turbo wiring, turbo transmission, uh, BC racing coilovers, my right headlights. Uh, and all sorts of things that you never knew you need during a swap and had to you hunt down. You learn the hard way. Very, yeah, yeah, very painfully. <laughs> <laughs> it's not till you get in, it's all the little bits that yeah. you, you don't realize. Subaru have had a habit of changing across all of the um, platforms. You think, oh, it looks the same, we can just do this, we do that. And there's one little thing that's different, which then snowballs out and you have to get everything. I mean, they, they changed everything wiring-wise every two years or so, so it was an absolute pain trying to hunt down the correct sensors and ECU and everything. And yeah. uh, at the at, at the end of it, I ended up putting a link ECU in it just to cut my pain a little bit. And well, I think you've done the best thing for the car by putting a link in it. Oh, absolutely. So Adrian joins us today for remap of his link ECU that he fitted, which obviously was a wise move. Um, you've got a trip coming up. Right? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm originally from Romania and I'm going to be uh, visiting my family there. Oh, nice. Driving and from the UK. Driving from the UK and driving back. So uh, I decided it's time to bring it here and get it properly mapped so I don't find unexpected surprises on the way. Being stuck at the side of the road. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's quite, quite a long journey. I think it's something like 1,500 miles each way. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's so, certainly fun. Um, how did you find out about Engine Junior? How did you find us? Martin found me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I, I was asking for help on, on one of the link groups and oh, well, yeah. we, got, we got to talk and here I am. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's a good community, the link groups. Um, if you've got a link ECU, it's worth um, finding them on Facebook and the actual link forum. Lots of information. And as always, Martin always tries to do his best to help out remotely where he can with people um, or in certain instances like this one. We invite you down uh, and we try and go through and get everything set up. So we should have closed loop lock control, closed loop boost control, obviously AFR is being monitored. So your trip should be hopefully problem free with the engine and the, and the management side of things. Yes. Um, so please um, follow us along, follow Martin, tune in the video, and we'll see you on the other side.
enjoyed that. Um, what we've got now is we've got this Subaru Impreza Sport with a turbo engine, stock turbo, stock injectors, but most importantly, a decent ECU. We've set the car up to run on 95, as Adrian's going to find himself in some places in Europe where Supra's not available, and he didn't want to take the risk. So we've got a nice healthy 250 brake horsepower, which will see him get home, see his family, and come back. If you like this video, we'd appreciate a thumbs up, and as always, could you subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out, and we'll see you on the next one.